She has praised them, held them as heroes and praised the response times of the emergency services. So why then will she not lift that pay cap? We've all seen it and we've all heard about the vote that took place in Parliament. It was the amendment that Labour put forward on lifting the pay cap on public services. They have had a pay cap for the last seven years and I've said that more than once on this channel. They have made cuts to both the fire service and the police force. The Home Office has said recently they are not going to make further cuts after Sadiq Khan lobbied for the cuts to stop. But in recent limelight of the vote, do we believe them? This is what Theresa May has actually said about the emergency services. On behalf of the people of London and on behalf of the whole country, I want to thank and pay tribute to the professionalism and bravery of the police and the emergency services. They laughed and jeered over winning the vote to keep the pay cap in place. And many have said they didn't cheer at the fact that the public sector still didn't get a pay rise. But I slightly disagree with that. There is, you would think, I hope, as an MP, a social etiquette. There are nurses going to food banks. There are firemen struggling through um, lack of good pay. And they couldn't even restrain themselves as a matter of respect. Crazy. But to start off with, let's get the definition of public sector workers out of the way. The definition is as follows, and I quote, the public sector is the part of the economy concerned with providing various governmental services. The composition of the public sector varies by country, but in most countries the public sector includes such services as the military, police, infrastructure which includes public roads, bridges, tunnels, water supply, sewers, electrical goods, telecommunications, and also public transit, public education along with healthcare and those working for the government itself, such as, and here it comes, elected officials. Elected officials. So why is the elected officials that work for the government itself had two pay rises? The rises are as follows. £1,049 comes just months after the Independent Parliamentary Standards Authority, or IPSA, pushed through a 1.3% salary increase. But the latest 1.4% salary boost, which was last year, will see MPs pay rise from 74,962 to 76,000 and is well above the 1% pay cap as imposed on public sector workers until 2019. But the year before that, IPSA made the decision to increase MP salaries by 10% from 67,000 to 74,000. So in two years, they have gone from 67,000 to 76,000. Crazy. But here is Jeremy Hunt as always praising the NHS and he was one of those that voted against lifting the cap and I have a full list and I'll put that in the description below. But here he is praising the NHS, moaning about him taking a pay cut in his ministerial pay. But don't forget, ministerial pay and parliamentary pay are completely different. Pierce, so look, out. the Labour Party have got this outrageous plan <laughs> to give NHS staff a pay rise you've not given them for years and to make their job safer. Presumably you agree with them, do you? Well, I'd certainly agree that NHS staff do a brilliant job and we'd certainly like to pay them more than we're able to at the but moment. You haven't done it. No, we haven't because right. we've had to face uh, a very, very difficult period. But you've given yourselves a pay rise, MPs, repeatedly. Uh, well, ministers have actually given ourselves a pay cut. That's the only pay we have control over. But look, as if MPs, you're, you, your yeah. salaries have gone up, right? Uh, but that's something we More don't have, nurses. as you know well, Piers. No, that's I'm something we don't, asking, yeah, we yeah, don't have control over. The optics over that. aren't great, are they? Where you say, I can't afford to give any NHS staff a pay rise, but me as an MP, I've been guzzling pay rises left, right and centre. But the pay that I can control, which is my pay as a minister, you have that to has accept, gone You have to accept your MP down. pay rise? But look, on the point of NHS but workers... Yeah, yeah. Just pin you down on that. Yeah, pin me down. Have go you on, accepted go for it, your Piers. MP pay rises? I've accepted my pay rise as an MP and my pay cut as a minister. And right. that's the point that all ministers have done, because we recognise that we have to set an example. But look, if you want to get more money into the NHS, if you want to pay nurses more, and we all want to do that... Such a shame, but he still gets £76,000 parliamentary pay 
you've got a feel for him. So I'll ask again. And if you have a definitive answer, please let us know. How, as public sector workers, under the definition of elected officials, how are they allowed to have two pay rises while other public sector workers cannot? Now, these guys ran into this building with no questions asked. These ladies and gents saved lives. They saved my life once. And they can't even get a small pay rise. Now, I was listening to LBC the other day, and one fireman said he was embarrassed to tell people what he said because there was an attitude that firemen sit around most of the day and then on the night shift, either sleeping or playing darts. Now, in my opinion, they risk their lives even when they are playing darts. Why? The fact of risking their lives hangs over their head every minute they are on shift. It hangs in the air because they are ready to do it at a moment's notice. Between the years 1987 and 2013, 66 firefighters have lost their life while on duty. That's 66 too many, so they do risk their lives. And Theresa May has the cheat to go and congratulate them at Grenfell, then stop them from getting a decent pay rise. How much more two-faced do you have to be? Now, I appreciate they couldn't bow down to Labour as that would question their authority, but just for a moment, take Parliament as a whole. Every politician is there to serve us, me and you. But instead, and I'm talking about every party, they sit there, heckle each other, try to outdo each other, save face against each other on votes, try to get the upper hand on each other. For what? For the suffering and stress of other people, the people they serve. Who gives a fuck if they lose their authority? Who gives a fuck if Labour get in or Tories stay? Fucking grow up and think of the people that they should actually be serving. Me and you. Who is Theresa May going to call at two in the morning if number 10 goes up in flames? Don't think for a minute she wouldn't complain if they took more than 20 minutes to get there. Parliament has become a self-gratification venue where the occupiers will rather get one over on each other and the opposition rather than do the very thing they were put there to do. And that served me and you. But yeah, I know if they lose their authority, it might jeopardise Brexit. But are you going to care about fucking Brexit when you take your child to the hospital and you have to wait four hours for a nurse to see you because there isn't enough of them because the pay is too low and they're not coming new people ain't coming into the service and you sit there while your child is almost passing out and bleeding from the head after an accident at the park will you care about brexit then i know i wouldn't this shit has to stop and it has to stop now unite against this shit not just against the Tories, but parliament itself because united we can have a better society and a better political system i'll say it every time a real good quality political system and a really good quality united society. And I do believe that. Are you a worker in the public sector? What do you think of the vote? Do you know anyone in the public sector? Comment below and let us know what you think. Thanks to everyone who has interacted with this channel recently. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and get involved in the debates on this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. And don't forget that MP list is below in the description. Bye bye for now. Entry pay. you got a feel for him, haven't you? So I'll ask again and if you have a definitive...